Hey, welcome to the first video on Shopify team development with Tailwind CSS and Alpine JS. In this video, I will talk about the requirement. Before you take this course and watch all the series, there are some of the basics you have to understand. And during the course, I of course, I'm going to explain a lot of the things, but there are some basic things you have to understand that will make your life easy and it will be easy to follow the course also. So the number one thing you have to know is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. If you are building a website, that is the basic requirement for building any website. Shopify theme is the same. We use HTML, CSS and Liquid, which is another topic. I will talk more on the course, uh, but yeah, you have to understand the basic of HTML, CSS. If you are not an expert with uh, JavaScript, that is fine. If you understand array object or functions, that's totally fine. The rest of them will be easy. I will explain for you and it should be easy to understand. Uh, the next thing is the Tailwind CSS. If you are not really like expert on this, it's still that's fine. You can just look at the documentation. I will explain everything I use in the course, but still it is good to have a basic background of understanding how a JavaScript framework is, like how a CSS framework is working, especially like utility CSS framework like Tailwind. And the next thing is like Alpine.js, which I will use throughout the course. Of course, everything that I cover on the course, I will explain why I do what I do. But still, if you want to uh, have a refresher of how Tailwind is working, it is an awesome JavaScript library. It is so lightweight and you will love using it, especially when it comes to Shopify team development. It is great. It is just perfect. And in the next video, in the next videos, I will explain why it is better than Vue and React when it comes to using uh, with Shopify team. But for now, this is what we use. I also have a video for this one. Uh, this is called Let's Learn Alpine with a practical project, which I show a practical uh, project in with AlpineJS. This is not a lot, just, I don't know, 11 videos. If you watch this one, it will be really helpful during the course when I try to explain something in Alpine, you will completely understand it. But this is something that you have to watch. It is on my YouTube um, channel playlist. Again, completely free. And the next step is understanding the basic of uh, Shopify. Two years ago, I created this course for Shopify for developer. And I also give away a challenge of a thousand dollars for the people who built the best team. I think two people won the challenge the other guy didn't um, design it like properly i didn't like it that's why so this is a lot of videos like 50 videos i'm not saying you have to watch all of them just watch 10 video of this if you watch more than that that's good for me i get views but the rest of this is also shopify theme development for um it is an a little bit outdated because we are focusing on store 2.0 and that's why I created this course because I already have a course for Shopify team development for the basic, but it does not cover Store 2.0, which has a bunch of new features, and you will love using them. So, just watch 10 video. Uh, the reason I said 10 video is because I want you to understand how Shopify ecosystem work, how you can add product, what is the difference between uh, variant and product, and how you are going to create your own. Uh, partner dashboard that way you can create unlimited free development stores that is what i cover in this 10 video and also i explain the basic of team uh, development workflow which i do in this series also but it is good to understand and how to navigate around shopify this is shopify partner you have affiliate you have apps you have your team and everything you have all your development store these are the things you have to understand how you can add a store I cover all of them in this video series in here. Just watch 10 of them. You will be uh, all good to go. I don't want to create that course because the video is going to get longer. That's why you can watch 10 of those video and it is a requirement. So, uh, and also I have another course. You don't have to watch this one, but if you do, that's really good also. Uh, when Store 2.0 came, I created this video series where I like talk in this uh, 10 video about what is new in Store 2.0. Uh, still, it is not a requirement to watch these videos, but it is good to to understand that if you already are a Shopify developer and you want to refresh your mind on what is new in Store 2.0, you can watch this series. But again, 
that's all you have to do just make sure you know html css and basic of javascript and you're ready to take this code and yeah in the next video we will start from shopify basic theme development tools and the things that we need to do so i hope this video is informative and i will see you in the next video